Good morning, it's Suzanne at White Dragonfly Healing, and I thought I'd do a little reading for you this morning. Um, just been sitting out on our balcony, and it's beautiful and sunny today, so um, it's nice when we have days like this in October. And Robert and I were just chatting about things outside, but when I came in, I was kind of guided, hey, you should uh, you should pull a card and pull it from the gateway deck, which I did. And, uh, but I was also feeling that I really needed to pull from my own, my own deck that I worked on with my collective, um, knowing that those messages that came through for me directly were directly from my team. So the first card goes along with, um, the message on, okay, so there's so much going on in the world as a hawk. Oh my gosh. So it like was eye level. I love being on this floor. Anyway, sorry. There's so much going on in the world right now, you know, and don't think that you can't still make your own plans. Don't read and, and watch what's going on and think, oh, there's going to be restrictions. Oh, we're not going to be able to travel. Oh, we're not going to be able to do this or that. They're going to lock us down. All this stuff. There's a second wave coming. People that are awake have known that this is going to play out for months now. Okay. It doesn't stop you from planning things that you want to do stand in your rights and do those things. Okay. So the collective came through with the message though, to step into stillness. Okay. So there's the, there's the card. This is from the gateway deck. Um, your power is born in the majesty of silence. So when you make plans to do things and, uh, you know, you want to move ahead and try new things in your life, it's, it's wise not to rush. Okay, to take time to sit still with the things that you want to do, listen to um, your guidance, listen to your higher self and make sure that the things that you're wanting to do in your life are on target with, you know, um, the reason why you're here. You know, depending on your age, you should have kind of figured out by now what your path is, why you're here to help, you know, if you're here to help other people or if you're here to um, be on some kind of mission. You should kind of know that by now, I would think, unless you're just starting to become aware of, um, you know, things that are, are going to change your mindset from a, a way of um, growing up and understanding things the way they're, you think they're supposed to be. And then as you start to wake up to things that are going on and become more aware of what's been going on throughout your life and through, with, for humanity over the decades and over the centuries, um, you start to think differently, right? So you're being guided to just step into stillness. Just sit quietly. Take time by yourself. Listen to music. Just don't, let the thoughts come in. Go for walks in nature. Let those thoughts come in from your team. The guidance come in to say, hey, you, you know, you need to be going in this direction. And you're not going to hear those messages that are so important for the path you're on. If you're not open to hearing, if you're not open to um, stepping out of a place where you feel you know everything, you feel you have the answers. That's living in your ego. You need to be open to the messages that are coming in from your, your team of angels, your, your entourage, that your ancestors, your old family members that have crossed that walk with you, that have made agreements to be with you and guide you from the other side. You have to be open in a place to listen and, and hear those messages. Okay. And then. The other message I pulled, or sorry, yeah, the other card I pulled from my own deck came from my own Council of Nine Angels that introduced themselves to me way back in 2013, I believe it was. They showed themselves to me and said, this is who they are and this is who walks with me and people can think I'm crazy. It doesn't matter. I know what I see and I know who I, you know, I know what I know. Um so the message that they brought through ties in with this other message as well. Perfectly. There's the card. Okay. I've shown this picture before. They showed that to me, uh, the first day I moved in here, when I walked out and looked out the balcony, that was, that was the, the image I saw. So that's an actual picture I took. So the message is rushing the outcome hinders creation from the highest source. So have patience. And I love how the two messages go together. Okay. So. This one's telling you to sit still and be quiet. And this one's telling you the same thing, but from a different perspective. Don't rush. They're telling you it in a different way. Don't rush. When you rush into things, it doesn't allow your team 
you know, if you, if you rush and you don't go into the quiet mode where you can hear, it doesn't allow your team to be able to come through and give you the messages that they need to from creator. Okay. So our angels and our guides and our family member, they have to answer to the big guy too. Like everything is filtered down from God or create creator, what, whoever it is, the source, the light, whatever you connect with, um, as a higher, a higher, uh, higher power than just who you are, you know, um, those messages need to filter down. So rushing into doing something that you want to do. And sometimes I can be bad for that. I get my mindset and I want to do it and I want it now, you know? Um, but when we rush it, things fall apart and we don't hear all the connecting pieces that maybe need to fall into place before we do the things that we want to do and the things that we've planned. Okay. So have patience. Where is it? There it is. Have patience. I think that's the biggest lesson for humanity. Why we're here this time is to learn patience. Okay. Um, so those are your messages for today. Be still. Learn to be quiet. Learn to meditate. You know, take time to be by yourself. Don't be afraid to go away. Leave your family. Leave your children. Leave your grandkids. Leave your parents. Whatever. So that you can get the solace you need to connect with your, your spirit and understand your life at a, at a deeper connection. Okay. And understand what you're supposed to be doing while you're here, you know? And, uh, I, you know, I'd like to say like a lot of people understand that guys go away fishing, girls go away with other girls and do spa things. That's when you have time to just deconnect or deconnect, uh, whatever, disconnect from everything that you're used to and being in a different space to be able to, to just bring yourself back into center position and connecting with that, that line from God. Okay. So that's your message today. My arm's going to fall off now because I'm holding this up. I really need to get one of those stick things to put this on. And uh, that's it for today. I hope you all have a great day. Get outside if the sun's shining and uh, that's it. I'll see you all soon. Okay. Suzanne Bertolas at White Dragonfly Healing. Bye.